All right, we're cleaning a, an apartment. We're going to use the orc orbiter. You can see it's kind of dirty. And up in here. This is one we do every... We used to do it every month, and they've uh, not wanted it done every month anymore. They want it done just... We finally raised our prices so high that they... We started want, charging them more. They want it done on a rare occasion. Yeah, so this is... Uh, this has been this is two months, so this is what it looks like when we don't clean it every month. We're getting a ton of money to do this one. Yeah. And you can see those are potato chips, so they're kind of messy. They they get inspected every month, and it's because they keep their place kind of dirty. The uh, managers check their apartment every month to make sure they're not getting too nasty. Like the latest thing they've been doing is showering without a shower curtain. And so the apartment downstairs keeps getting flooded. <laughs> And so I guess they're in trouble for not using a shower curtain, and they still haven't put one up yet. So. The bedroom's hardly ever very dirty. I think they keep the door shut most of the time. Although, yeah, not too bad. Um, what'd you pre-spray with? That's ammonia. Well, I put ammonia down first, and then I'm going to go behind it with a uh, fabuloso mix of water. Yeah, so we're using uh, ammonia because it gets rid of dark stains. It helps get rid of dark stains. And we're going to use Fabuloso because it's a neutral pH and it has a grease cutter in it, but it's not going to leave any residue on the carpets. So, this unbelievably comes because they spill sodas all the time and uh, they just make messes. They have a pet that goes to the bathroom in the house because they don't take it out very often because it's an upstairs unit. And when people live upstairs and have a pet, a lot of times they're not going to want to go up and down the stairs very often. So. Yeah, especially if the pet gets diarrhea and wants to go 10 times Yeah, a day. and they, they feed their pet whatever fast food. They think it's fun to feed it table scraps. Table scraps, so it's always getting sick and having messes. So. Yeah. I'm going to pause the camera here until he gets ready to compete to get going. And we'll start cleaning this and see how it goes. And by the way, these carpets are so worn out. These carpets are approaching... Uh, They're probably 18, 20 years old. Yeah, these apartments were built 21 years ago. And I think these may be the original carpets up in this unit because they we used uh, to clean for the original person that lived here and, and they had lived here for years and years and trash drove out. they did the same thing they yeah did well they lived here for years and years and years and years uh the people before these people and the carpets were already worn out from them so anyway he's he's gonna be starting up here in a minute and i'll start the camera back up so stay tuned all right that's a <clears throat> dry bonnet on a very damp not very very damp but it's it's been damp in carpet it's pretty damp. The dirtier they are, I mean, I get them all real wet, to be honest with you, even if they're clean. I clean carpets wet. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty wet because I put a lot of chemical to make sure you get the stuff out fast. If you get the carpet real wet, uh, you can't, you cannot tip one the carpet with a dry bonnet. Although this carpet's past the point of any of that. Yeah, it don't even matter either. if you tip with it, but we're not going to any of it because it's just not the thing to do. Okay, and so somebody asked me. See, so check it out. It just comes out. Yeah, somebody asked me about um, extraction, and this is considered pad extraction. And so what you're doing is instead of having to put a whole bunch of water down, you're putting very little water with a chemical in it, and you're using an absorbent bonnet. And the orbital motion, orbital, I'm sorry, orbital motion, and the absorbent pad work together to get the soils in suspension. So your pre-spray gets the uh, soils in suspension for you and all you're really doing is you're using the uh, the motion of the bonnet because it's fairly aggressive for it's getting very, it's, it's very aggressive. Yeah, it scrubs the carpet fibers clean. Can and you can see even though that was a pretty dirty carpet. And that's two months, uh, that's what's been down for a couple of months. Oh yeah. But it comes right up. What? One of the reasons is probably because we clean this carpet. Well, we, well, well the reason it comes pretty out often for is because uh, the free spray works good. Yeah, it does. Another reason it comes off is because the machine works good. We used to do these with a rug doctor. And if you're up here with any extraction, I don't care if you've got a truck mount, these are bad jobs to do with extraction because you got to get them, you got to make pass after pass over them, and you got to get them wetter and wetter. Yeah, and if you get these carpets too wet, you're going to bring up all the old pet mess and stuff that's uh, all the penetrated stuff. into the pad. And as it dries, if it dries too slowly, it's going to pull that stuff out. It's going to wick it to the surface. So low moisture is the best way to clean these really, really dirty carpets. Like low this. moisture is the best way to clean all carpets, period. Well, it's uh, the only time we use... The only thing I recommend extraction on 
is if someone just flooded their toilet and they got raw sewage, then I'll pull out and it's something to extract the water of. But when it dries, I'll bonnet clean it. Yeah, this hallway here looked as bad as the living room, but they flooded with the shower. They flooded the, this weekend on a Saturday. They flooded their apartment, so it was like, you know, a quarter inch deep of water up to the hallway. And then they flooded the downstairs neighbor's apartment. So I brought an extractor up here. Yeah, so that's where he brought an I, extractor and I up. Them, and I picked up their flood water. And it's a couple of days later now, I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning it, but I'm cleaning it with this. Yeah. I don't use extractors. So, if I, if I never use them if I don't have to. So the hallway was just as black as the living room, but he ran over it with a uh, rug doctor to suck out the water. And so the hallways look a little better than they actually were. This is Monday, and so Saturday we did that carpet in the hallway. There's a spot there that just never comes out. It's oh, so there's worn there's out. Permanent wear. This, this carpet's, but it looks real good. One of them sits there, and they drive their heels up the carpet okay. constantly right in that spot. So, hold on, let me. This, I know one. there's a lot of dirt over here. When I when I clean, if I remember where the dirty areas at. Even if they look good, I'll go over them one more time sometime just to make sure that they get the best attention I can give them, just in case. Although we've never had a spot come back, and I mean never. I've been doing this since 1986, and I don't have return stains. It just don't happen with us. We do them right the first time, and we don't worry about it. All right, he's going to pause to spray the carpet in the hallway down, because we don't pre-spray too far ahead. We don't want our pre-spray to dry up before we can get to it. And so I'll pause the camera and we'll and come we'll right back. The rest, of, the rest of the problem is not as dirty. All right, be right back. All right, we're going to do the haul real quick. There's a uh, fresh pet stain. Looks like it was just wiped up this morning a little bit. Probably was. So we may have to open the door to get close enough to that. We'll see. But uh, Otherwise, yeah, the haul's still pretty decent because he cleaned it. That was definitely not there Saturday. All they got to do is not mess this up for one night. You think they can do it? No. Yeah, by tomorrow morning it'll be it'll be fresh soda, fresh pet mess, fresh everything everywhere. It's just how they are. They're nice people, but they're messy. Well, they're just, they, uh, they don't it. think about it. They lose their keys all the time and stuff like that. Well, actually, a lot of times, one of them, they'll leave for the day and you look up there and their keys are in the lock. Because one of them locked the door and left the keys in the door so anybody can walk in on them. And they'll be gone all day with the keys hanging up at the door lock of their apartment. Yeah, they kind of they get themselves locked out of their car all the time. They lose their ignition key. They, they leave their leave their lights on and have dead batteries. They just always always doing stuff. They're absent minded. They can't really help it. No, they can't help it. We don't hate them. We're just tired of working for them, so we said, if we're going to do this, we're going to charge you all a ton of money, or y'all call somebody else. And they know we'll get it done, so they call us. But we're, we're, we don't do these things. You want to open that door and see if you can get closer to that? Yeah, I don't know if I can. You can also get the threshold maybe That's a little right. bit more. It's hard to get up on that 100%. Ooh, it's already hot out. Shut the door, it's hot. Okay, the back door doesn't shut anymore. Go ahead and walk in the bedroom. I had an extra drill too. Yeah, the bedroom was. This is real dirty, but we'll fill it anyway. It's just part of the apartment. We'll just do this to extend the video for people who want to watch our video and want to see it last a little longer. Yeah, this is one of those customers we work for them every single month, so we they, we gave them a pretty good deal, and then they started you know coming up with excuses not to get it done every month, and then after they did that a couple times, it's like okay, well we're not doing it that so cheap we anymore. So raised our prices, and now we're. Because they figure if they can get it done for a, a low rate once a month, then they try to get that low rate like, but can you do it every three months or something like that? It's like not for that price. Yeah, they wanted to save money it's because like, of the soil no, load. You're not going to save money. No. Nope. You dirty it up, you pay to get it clean. That's your, you dirty it, not us. Why would we save you money? Well, for something if you, you ever get a customer that's like a, a steady customer once a month, when they start cutting back on how often they want it done, uh, it's time to you're going to have to readjust your price. Yeah, what they're doing is, let's say you're charging 50 bucks to do this uh, once a month. They figure they get it done every month. They'll get the carpets clean 
for $50 every two months instead of $50 a month. And the way you do that is like, oh, well. You I'm tell them, okay, well, now it's going to be $80 if you don't want to do it every well, month. Yeah, it's you don't have to double the price, but you, you raise just it up where it's significant. Raise it up. And don't let them get over on you like that. People want to pull some slick, cheaper tin. Okay. Just don't let them do it. Well, that's about as good as it gets. And everything came out for the most part. Yeah, come on. Let me try open this door a little bit and see if you can. No, that's not going to help. Eh, okay, well, that's uh, that's all for this one. Check the uh, video description. I'll put some links down there for uh, the machine and uh, for our store. We have an Amazon store. And we also have a uh, Facebook group that uh, everyone's welcome to join. Although it says it's the carpet cleaners in the title, it's for everybody. Uh, check those links out. And if you have any questions, you know, Comment below and please like and subscribe. Till next time, thanks for watching.